Hey Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your daily love reading for February 7th, 2019. This is for all Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Sagittariuses. All right, so I'm going to take you down here so you can start pulling your cards. What messages does Sagittarius need? Thank you. All right, your first card out was the uh, moon. Your second one is the eight of swords. Uh, and you had two come out, which was the high priestess and temperance. This person you are dealing with has the king of cups. The ace of pentacles. The page of pentacles. Let's get one even out energy to a source. Give it your shared energy. All right, shared energy for Sagittarius and their partner. The sun. Okay. So, since you guys have so many cards out here. I only pulled one for your shared energy, and that is the sun. Um, the two of you have a connection that is from the divine. The sun, is, for me, is always um, following a path that is led by um, the divine, following the path that you are called to take. Um, the divine will light the, light the way for you, finding your inner light. Um, and things that were done in the dark are coming to light for the two of you. Um, the first card out here is the moon. So you could have been a secret of somebody. Somebody could have kept you a secret. Um, you could have kept them a secret. But when the sun and the moon come out like that, uh, this for me is, uh, you know, the yin and the yang. The This is a soulmate twin flame connection. Um, but this is for this, uh, situation with what it's paired with. This is deep seated emotional, uh, passion for somebody. You have a lot of love, uh, for somebody that you've had to keep secret or somebody had to keep secret about you. Um, and it's kept you really trapped in the way you think in moving forward, um, especially if the person you're dealing with is a Taurus moon. Um, because I see the Taurus in the back, but yeah, this is being almost feeling like you're stuck because you love this person so much that you don't know what to do. You don't know whether to move on. You don't know whether to wait for this person. Um, you're just sitting there kind of letting the fire burn around you, but you are being intuitively guided on what to do. This is also knowing what the connection is. This is also secrets. So um, there's a lot of things going on here that have been behind the scenes that nobody knows about but the two of you. Um, you could be pregnant with somebody's kid and you're not telling anybody um, either. That's for very few of you. But once again, this is my twin flame card as well with the white and the black on each side. Um, she's holding the Torah. This is figuring it out. You, Your intuition is telling you what to do about this soulmate connection. Um, you have 
uh, worked very hard on yourself. Your intuition is also very strong. This is a very um, intuitive person, but you have worked very hard to balance out your emotions, to get over the heartache of the past, get over being a secret of somebody's. Um, it's taken you a lot of hard work, but you did follow the path the divine has um, has enlightened for you. So if you're wondering, am I doing the right thing? Am I in the right place? Am I doing you know, what I'm supposed to be doing? The answer is yes, to follow your intuition because that's how your guides are speaking to you. And just to be a little bit more patient because this relationship is going to come out in the light. What, what was done between the two of you in the dark is coming to light. And this person is going to um, move towards you if you are not together already. Um, the person you're dealing with is the King of Cups. They have a lot of deep emotion for you. They have a lot of love for you. They care about you. Um, this person also doesn't speak their feelings very well. They hold them back. Um, they don't tell you how much they mean or you mean to them. They just expect you to know it. But they have unconditional love for you. Yeah, this person's also very emotional, um, even though they don't show it. They feel everything. They have they have a lot of empathy and sympathy for people. Like they have a really good heart, but they don't always voice how they feel, leaving you confused, leaving you feeling like you're in the dark, um, leaving you to use your intuition because they're not necessarily speaking how they feel. Um, they also have the Ace of Pentacles. They do want a to start a new beginning with you, um, but they want to make sure it's financially stable. This uh, could be an Earth sign, a water or not. Real, I'm not feeling air. This is either water or Earth here, um, heavy earth sign with the, the ace here, but this is a new beginning that the two of you will get with each other, but this person has to end because, or they're in the process of ending something with the 10 of Pentacles with someone. So they could be getting out of another relationship and that's why they can't voice their opinion or their feelings about you. That's why they, um, you were possibly a secret but you are going to hear from them. This person, um, they're wanting to learn more about you. They're wanting to learn more about the, uh, you know, the spiritual realm. They're very, they're ready to work on this relationship with you. And they did have a choice between um, two situations and they are making a choice with it in the reverse. A choice is being made um, by this person. And I just love, okay, this is your card, which is balance them, you know, the pouring in back and forth, your outcome in the same position is balance with justice and then duality of the two of swords. It's just beautifully mirroring each other. And this is going to work out exactly the way it's meant to work out. Your guys' outcome is the ace of wands, uh, the two of cups, the knight of pentacles and uh, justice. So you guys are going to get a new beginning. This is, like I said, there's so much deep-seated emotional feelings with each other. With you, with the moon, this is romance. A lot of deep-seated love for this person. The Knight of Cups has unconditional love. And then you have the Ace of Wands right underneath it. So this passionate new beginning is coming together. You're going to get an idea of how to put this together. The divine is going to enlighten you on how to move forward. And it's just going to be a spark of an idea. And it's just going to ignite the whole relationship. It's going to bring the whole thing together. <clears throat> you could, um, this could be a Virgo because Virgo had this card as well. But it's, it's either an earth sign or a water sign because that's all I see here and possibly a Libra. Um, but this is going to have a new beginning because the two of you are soulmates. The two of you, um, are meant to be with each other. The two of you have eternal love for each other. Um, you just have to be patient because they're moving very slow. They're not rushing into this, uh, situation. They're not rushing into this 
uh, romance because they have to deal legally with something before they can move forward. This person could be um, making the choice to go through with a divorce. They could be um, making the choice to do what's right and fair for themselves and not worry about everybody else. Um, but this person has to uh, deal with their karma and end a situation with somebody else before they can come forward. And that's why they're moving so slow because they're concerned about um, finances as well as there could be children involved here because they're worried about supporting their children if they divorce this person or they're worried about how they're going to pay for something with the children. Yeah, but you just have to know that you're not trapped by this situation, Sagittarius. Follow your, your emotions, follow your intuition, and it will lead you to balance. And when you come out in your own reading, hello, you're looking amazing. So you're doing exactly what you're meant to be doing. If you're wondering if you're doing the right thing, if you're wondering if you're on the right path, by all means, yes, you are. You're doing amazing. The person that has unconditional love for you is making the choice to come towards you. Um, the two of you will have a new beginning based or with tons of passion and um, a gift from the universe in the form of abundance with your soulmate. They are coming. They're moving slow, but they have to deal with their karma. They have to deal with whatever in their life needs balance first. And I love this too, because they both have the two pillars behind them, the black and white pillars. So this uh, links it to this. So this person is coming back for you. They are enlightened. They are moving in the path of the divine and the feelings are going to come to the surface and they will decide to move towards you, Sagittarius. So I hope you guys have a beautiful Thursday. I'll see you next time. God bless.